tonight for dinner, I am going to be making the pizza. I'm going to use the pizza dough I made yesterday plus the pesto. So we're going to get going. So I'm going to start first. This container is all cornmeal that my mom had made. We dry our own corn. I bought my mom a grain mill for Christmas a couple years ago. So we just make our own cornmeal. So this is going to be one of the pizzas. I'm going to make two different pizzas. I'm going to make a pesto chicken and then I'm also going to make a pesto and egg pizza. So I'm actually going to get the cornmeal on both sides. So you want to make sure that you get the dough to room temperature just so it's more pliable. This is still a little cold. And I'm not looking for a perfect crust. It doesn't have to be perfectly round. That doesn't bother us. So I guess you call that rustic. cornmeal down. This is just so it doesn't stick to the pan when it's cooking. I have the oven preheating at 400 degrees. I'm not using any red sauce. I'm going to put on some of that pesto. Crust to crust is a must. So what I also like to do is I like to use a little garlic powder and I like to put it on the crust so you're not missing any flavoring. My husband's a fan of Domino's and I know they have like that garlic salt crust. So that's my trick for this. Throwing stuff all over the place. So I'm just gonna use mozzarella or Italian cheese. I have a couple different bags. This one is just mozzarella. Same with the cheese, crust to crust. I'm also going to be doing a video that shows how to save money. So the only reason I have the pre-shredded bags is because they're on sale. I'm going to be going to the store with my phone to show everybody, <coughs> don't mind my dog, to show how to save money on food. You don't have to spend so much money at the store. So I pre-cooked up, this is just one chicken breast. I sliced it thin, browned it up in a little bit of olive oil with Italian seasoning, some garlic powder, salt and pepper. And one chicken breast will do a whole pizza. Don't leave the juices out because that is flavor. Chicken, basil, pesto, chick pizza <laughs> is complete. I'm gonna put this aside and we're gonna work on the next one. that 
this dough is out for the next pizza. Same thing, pass dough down. This pizza would be great also if you did like a spinach pesto. Same thing, I just do a little garlic powder on the crust part. You can definitely do some water on the edges so it sticks better. I really had no issue. I'm going to put on cheese. This is just a six cheese Italian, which is what I had opened. If I don't ever use it, all of it, I put it in the freezer. That's what I did with these last two bags. I use it as we go. You don't want to over cheese either. Don't get me wrong, I like cheese. But you want the pizza to have some stability. And because it's a smaller pizza, I have four eggs that I'm gonna put on it. Sorry for being so quiet, I was actually concentrating to make sure I didn't break any of the yolks. All right, so this is ready as well. I'm gonna throw a little salt and pepper on the top just because you need to flavor your eggs. It's just how it is. And because everything else already has flavor, you wanna make sure that you just flavor every level that you put into your food. And I'm going to show you what this looks like from a top view. Top view of the basil pesto and chicken. And this is the bacon one. This would also be really good with some bacon on it. I have not. I'm so sad. All right. So we're going to pop these guys into a 400 degree oven. I'm actually going to put the egg pizza. Just be careful so you don't throw your whites all over the place. On the lower rack. And... This can go on the top. And I'll alternate them in about 10 minutes. Pull the pizzas out of the oven. There's the breakfast egg pizza. And there is the chicken pizza. So now we're gonna put these bad boys up.